Get Gutsy, episode number 202. Welcome to fall. Transformation awaits. Hey, Jenny here. Welcome to a new episode. You know, it had been a while since we served something new up to you here on the show. Had one for you recently with Amanda Tress, the creator of an amazing fitness and nutrition program called the Fast Way to Fat Loss. Oh my gosh, if you haven't listened to that episode, go back and listen. It's our one right before this one, and you're going to learn how she has created a wellness revolution, and maybe you're going to get inspired to create your own wellness revolution and or join the one that Amanda has created, Um, and it's the one that I'm I'm a part of. And so if you are one of my Fast Away women, hats off to you. I'm with you on this awesome empowering journey and get excited because I got a brand new episode for you right now. This is a solo episode, just me and you, just us. And I want to say it's fall. A new season is here. Summer is behind us. I did take the summer off from publishing episodes and that just felt like the right thing to do it felt like I just wanted some space some time some something different you know it's good to shake things up and now we're here in fall the days are growing shorter the air is getting colder the leaves are starting to change colors and fall from their branches you also should know that the darkness is coming the days are shorter right? There's more dark than light and that will continue on as we move through this season and eventually move into winter. The earth will be going to sleep soon. This is such a powerful time of year. It truly is harvest season. It's time to celebrate. It's time to reflect on what you've created and nourished. It's time to honor the many lessons you have learned and are continuing to learn and will learn with this next season and next cycle. And it truly is time to let certain things die that are over, that are done. I was just talking with some colleagues and uh, one was saying, you know, there's this piece that's that's dying and she knows that she's meant to go in this, this kind of next direction and she sees who that next person iteration of her is but she's not sure how to kind of cross that divide and she's not exactly sure what it's going to look like and we talked about this theme of death and that you must allow certain ways of being to die within you to make space for the new seeds that will grow into the next year's harvest. We have just about three months left of 2018 oh my gosh just let that sink in and can you give yourself permission to hunker down and focus on what transformation you are ready to experience and lead your people through my audience you all are leaders your guides your transformational teachers your writers your authors your experts your speakers you are movement makers and I pride myself on creating transformational experiences for my people and what I have learned is that transformation is all about navigating transition transformation is all about navigating transition so I ask you who are you in transition what comes up for you during that wild, wonderful, messy time called transition. Do you freak out or do you tap more fully into your faith? Or is it a mixture? You know, what is that for you? I recently did a a live stream talk on Facebook and It was all about navigating transition. The name of it is, are you in the midst of transition right now? And so I share some ideas and tips and pointers on how to navigate transition. I also share a story of when I 
really was in transition, like in the technical term is transition when I was birthing and laboring with my third child, my third baby, Kate. And for all you moms out there who have labored <laughs> and birthed in that way, you know what transition is. And so I share uh, my story around that and just kind of what I learned from that experience that you can apply to your life, especially as we move through this transformational and transitional season of fall and all that it will present to you. So that's what you're going to hear in a few moments is that uh, live stream gathering and I hope you enjoy it. Before I move into that, I want to make sure you know that you are invited to something transformational because that's our theme, right? Here's what it is. Listen, it's so easy to feel frustrated in your business when things aren't going your way, when you feel like you're spinning your wheels and making very little traction. You may be feeling like you're spending so much time working one-on-one with clients or trying to get more amazing clients and not enough time truly spreading your message and helping the number of people you're here to help. You and I both know you have big dreams and your current setup probably isn't cutting it like it needs to or you want it to. Or maybe you have been trying to create and launch a program, but you don't really feel like you have a clue about what you're doing and you're frustrated and freaked out. Your soul is craving something more, but you feel so lost in how to break into your next level of contribution and creation. And you're kind of getting a little overwhelmed by this, a little tired of this feeling. Because the truth is you really are a teacher. You have wisdom to share with your people and you do love to help. You have a lot of lessons learned. You have wounds, scars, a fire in your belly to really impact the world in a way that only you can. And I want to help you around this and I want to do it around you creating your transformational program. I love program design and delivery. I've been doing this for more than 15 years. It's such an awesome feeling leading your crew through a journey of self-discovery and learning and action taking. So I have a training coming up very soon where I'm going to lead you step by step through how to create, launch, and lead transformational programs, courses, and retreats so you can help more people, open up to consistent revenue, deeper impact, and just a lot more enjoyment. So you can go to jennyfennig.com slash program and sign up. That's jennyfennig.com slash program. And I will let you know, we are also offering an additional bonus over and above what you see there on the page um, of a fall ritual because again we're in the season of fall and you really want to be mindful and conscious about how you open up to all new seasons as they present themselves but specifically around fall we have an awesome ritual that you will get it's a video ritual um, that I led along with an amazing woman Daria Rivera and we guide you through how to open up to this transformational season so when you sign up for my training on how to create your transformational program you're gonna get this awesome bonus ritual. All right, everybody. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for continuing to show up. I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now. End of the year. We're excited. We're also feeling all the feelings. There's a lot happening right now for women. I mean, oh my goodness. It is on. It is game on. And we have got to really take advantage of every opportunity we have to speak up as leaders, to help each other out, to shine that light, show the way, (sighs) because we are in the midst of massive transition right now. We can't go back. We're going forward, and it takes leaders who are willing to do that hard work and to help people through those transition points so that we can all have the transformation that we do desire. Okay, so enjoy this uh, talk about transition and I look forward to being with you at our next opportunity. Love you. Hey, 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 everyone. 
Jenny here. How are you? How are you? We're approaching the end of the day here. Feels like the end of the week-ish. I wanted to pop on and say hello. I am going to share this. Wait for a few y'all to come and hang out for this short chat on transition, on transition. Say hi. If you're watching this right now, say hi. Let me know you're here, where you're connecting in from, and then we will get this show on the road. Just sharing our video and letting some people know we're on. Game on, game on, game on. Got my tea here. I am feeling really good about it being Friday, Friday. What a week. Um, this is the last day of summer, just so you know. Um, you might have felt like the last day of summer has already passed because Labor Day has come and gone here in the Northern Hemisphere and in the United States in particular. However, summer is ending today. Tomorrow we, we officially move into fall. So I simply wanted to make that point known to you all because it's very, very important that we honor this transition. And hi everyone who's tuning in, say hi in the comments so I know. I love to say hello to all of you who are here. It's really fantastic to be able to hang out and get gutsy together. Get gutsy. So tomorrow we officially move into fall. Who knows what tomorrow is? It's a very, very auspicious day, a very powerful time. Tomorrow is the autumn equinox, the fall equinox, a.k.a. Mabon, Mabon, M-A-B-O-N. And this is one of two times in the entire calendar year where we have an equal amount of light and darkness to our day. That's very fantastic, you know, to really think about, to really hunker down on and say, oh, wow, like that's significant. This doesn't happen all the time. Two times per year that we experience an equinox, and tomorrow is one of those days. If you don't track these types of things, I suggest that you do. I have my great um, calendar here that tells me about our equinoxes. I have it right here, the equinox. Now I have a calendar upstairs in my kitchen and it says the equinox is on Sunday the 23rd, but we're in it. It's this weekend, okay? <laughs> I try not to get tied up on those like super detailed specifics. All I want you to know is that the equinox is coming. Fall will officially be here. And this is a really powerful time for you to honor the passing of one season and the opening up of the next season, the opening up of fall, of autumn. And what, what is that for you? You know, how are you going to usher in this, this new time? Okay. Um, we did something really awesome. I have an amazing uh, group of women in one of my programs called Intuitive Power. And today I led, along with our mentor coach, Daria Rivera, this amazing ritual for Mabon. Mabon is another term for this uh, autumn equinox. Uh, Mabon is, is a sabbat. We go into all of these like <laughs> women's wisdom um, rituals and things that have been done for a very, very long time, but most people in this modern world just are out of touch with. And so we go back into really working with the energy of the seasons, working with the energy of the earth, working with the energy of the moon, you know, all these wonderful things. So today there was this awesome ritual that we um, held for our, our amazing women. And I want to show you what, what I made um, Daria led us through this gorgeous deal. 
Look how awesome. Look how awesome this thing is. This is a besom, also known as a besom or basom. And I, I have one in my house, like a full, it's like a broom, okay? It's technically a, a broomstick. Um, but it's, you can make it really beautiful with these, with these flowers and um, foliage and greenery and things like that. So Daria led this for us today. And I, I was like, is it, it's a besom, it's a basom. And then right before I wanted to come on to you all today, I was like, what, to, what really is the pronunciation of this and so I looked it up and apparently it's besom besom anywho it's very pretty it's very pretty and the intention with this is that um, I'm gonna keep it here in my office and it's here to cleanse out all the tech that I use all right so I'm like really just cleansing out my screens my keyboards all this technology that i use to stay connected with you and all the other amazing people in the world um yes it's so awesome so i have this in my space now this was a ritual that daria led us through um, i led some a beautiful journey around honoring the darkness that is we're welcoming in because y'all for the next half the year, the days will be more dark than they will light in terms of the length of time of each day. And so we want to honor that darkness. We also want to be grateful for our many, many blessings. That's the spirit of this time of year. And that really is the spirit of this transition. Yes, it smells so good too. And I put these like sage leaves in here. Yeah, it's really, really awesome. I see Daria tuning in right now. So thanks for that beautiful, beautiful gift. For today, I love, I love it. I feel like I'm like, I actually was Miss New Smyrna Beach High School. I was crowned in 1994, <laughs> New Smyrna Beach High School in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And I feel like I'm carrying my, you know, um, my bouquet of, of flowers for winning that, that competition. Here they are. Oh, wow. And this is, this feels very powerful, this, this, um, this branch, this, you know, beautiful, you know, element from nature from a tree i love it i love my thing i love it so anywho i'm going to stick that here and simply talk to you about the power of this transitional time and that you need to honor transitions and the way they can become less intense less painful is that you have a real um mindfulness that you bring to the transition that you don't just get blindsided by it you want to bring ritual, you want to bring ceremony to these transitions in the seasons, in these transitions in your life, you know, rites of passage, all of those things. And I find that most people don't do this. They, they don't honor that. And then they wonder why they're feeling so low or feeling so um, sad or just so sluggish. It's because you're not honoring these transitional points in life. Okay. So Wow. I hope you honor those transitionary times. And this is really what I do with my people is we do this together. Um, we realize there's no point in going at it alone. There's no point in trying to get the people in your life who like just don't speak this language to all of a sudden be open to your ideas about, you know, working with nature, or like growing your business or whatever it is that you've got to find that circle of, of um, people who totally speak your language, who totally get what you're doing. That was what gives me so much you know, joy and pleasure about leading programs. You know, my business is really programs. I lead and sell programs, okay? I share my joy about these programs. I bring women together and we go on this epic journey. This is really what I've been doing since the beginning of time, beginning of my time as a, as a business owner. Um, I certainly do one-on-one -on -one work with clients. However, the bulk of what I do is lead transformational experiences for women. And really these, this boils down to being in, you know, in a program format, you know, going through a specific process, teaching, you know, certain ideas, sharing um, concepts, sharing ideas sharing um, you know, action steps or suggested action steps, assignments to take. This is all kind of the, the 
the framework of developing programs. And it's something that I just adore doing. And so I wanted to let, let you know about an opportunity that you have coming up and something I've decided to do regarding this opportunity. So again, I've been leading programs a freaking long time. And if you work with people who are in transition, being in a program is like the best thing for them because they are supported by the structure of the program. They're supported by you and they're supported by the other people who are in that program um, with your clients and you know, with you as a guide. So I am leading a training very soon. It's the first week in October, all about how you can create your transformational program. So if you're a coach, if you're an artist, if you're an author, if you're a consultant, if you're a designer, if you're um, a speaker, I mean, you name it, a therapist, like all the things, all the things. There's so many people who could lead programs. But if you're called to work with more than one person at a time to, again, guide your uh, audience, your people through transformational experiences, then programs absolutely could be a fantastic piece to your business and your work and not only are they immensely gratifying but they can be very very lucrative as well so i'm leading a training first week in october I'd love to invite you to come um, i'll put a link here underneath the video and right now uh, our tickets are 50 percent you can say 50 percent when you come in by uh, this coming wednesday we will have that 50% savings available for the next few days. And you already are gonna get a bonus. I'm gonna put the link here too. It's jennyfennig.com slash program. You're gonna get a bonus when you sign up already, and you'll see that on the page. However, we're also adding this additional bonus. You're gonna get the recording from this awesome fall equinox ritual. It was such a freaking, rad thing that we just did and for my clients in this one particular program they got to experience it but I also want to hook you up for those who sign up for my upcoming training we're gonna bonus you this fall ritual where you're gonna go through what I just shared and you will fully be prepared for this new season of autumn and for the transitions that will be coming your way, that are already coming your way. So you can go to jennyfennig.com slash program and check that out, okay? Would love to see you there. Would love to help you do the thing that you wanna do with this new season, with these gifts that you have, with this dream, with this ambition. There are some things you need to know, and I don't want you to have to you know, take a lot of years to figure out some of those critical things you really need to know now. So that's the intention of the training. And I simply want to send you a lot of love because there's big stuff swirling about right now. Um, there's a lot of, you know, hard things going on right now. There's a lot of things that I see as a woman that are very disturbing about just the way our society is structured, the way that across the board, women pretty much just aren't believed. And I just call bullshit on all of that. I think it's our opportunity as humans, not just as women, but as humans to take a stand for decency and truth and, you know, your behavior and your character matters. I don't care how old you are. It matters. It just matters. And I'm honestly talking about the Supreme Court situation right now. Um, women, we need to back each other up. And the men who support us, um, you need to step up and be freaking human. Okay. <laughs> we need to rewrite the narrative right now. Um, our kids are looking to us to do what's right. And, you know, that's another piece just to kind of bring it back to my love of programs is, is really my love of women's leadership and women standing in their power. And when we do that, and we don't have to do that at the expense of like our men, because I am married to a man and I'm raising two sons as well as a daughter. And we need to, we just all need to do better and to do right. And 
I know we can do it. I know we can do it. And so my, my intention is to really bring, bring women together with the shared vision of doing the thing that you came here to do, really fulfilling your grand assignment, answering the call, doing the thing that, you know, scares you, but you know is connected to the, your next level of growth. It's connected to you serving more people. It's connected to you stopping a legacy of, you know, deprivation or abuse or um, just things that you know are done. You know, it takes a lot of courage to say, I know this is the way it's been done for a long time, or I know this is how people say it works in our family, but I'm not going to do it like that anymore. I'm going to do it differently because I, I, I know, I know where I'm meant to go next. I know who I'm meant to help. I know who I'm called to serve. So take that to heart today as we move out of summer and into fall. This is really the perfect time to honor what has gone on this entire year and get very, very firm and clear and empowered about where you want to go next with the time left that we have in this calendar year. Yes. Yes. And again, if you want to experience a really powerful ritual around this and you're interested in creating, launching, and leading transformational group programs in your business, then you should come to my training coming up, jennyfenning.com slash program. Again, we are offering tickets at 50% off right now. Just to kind of play. That deal will expire uh, I think we have it expiring like the day after the full moon next next week. So feel into that energy of the full, full moon. You're going to want to be there. We're going to have a blast. And shout out to everybody out there who is living on the edge and pushing your edge and getting out of your comfort zone. You're my people. <laughs> I'm going to be gathering with a lot of you all um, in October. I'm, I'm leading a retreat here in the Berkshires at my home in October. Um, it's the 20th and 21st. So I'll just share that as well. For those of you who are called to do deep work with me, this is an opportunity. Please reach out. Um, I'll let you know if you qualify for that retreat. It's an extraordinary um, time that we're going to spend together. I am very grateful and proud of the work that I do. And I will say that my retreat work that I do is, is my greatest gift. It's my greatest gift when I get in a real room with somebody that is just, it's like the best. It's absolutely the best. And um, I'm excited to gather up with many women who are ready for this experience. And I'll just say that too, for those of you who want to be leading retreats of your own, which I hope that you do because they're freaking fantastic and you, oh my gosh, you're going to love it. You need to be attending retreats. You need to see what that's like. You need to feel what that's like. You need to kind of get that courage from being an attendee so that you then can go lead for your people. You know, the internet's awesome. Technology is fantastic, but too many people hide behind screens and they're unable or unwilling to get in a real room with somebody. And I feel like that, you know, society will be over when we don't know how to be in rooms with each other. So when you get in person, if you have an opportunity to be in person with a teacher, with a mentor, with a coach, with a guide, with, with someone who you just feel um, an immense amount of respect for, an immense amount of love for, an immense amount of like, oh my gosh, I'm around this person. I just, I get ideas and I see things that I couldn't see before. Take advantage of that. You know, that was me earlier this week when I went to see Reese Witherspoon in New York City. Now that wasn't a retreat. I had, we were in the room for like one hour and I went, you know, to New York, spent the night in a hotel, came back the next day. It was effort. It was effort on my part and it was an expense. But I don't look at life as like, okay, should I not do that? Because it costs money. It's like, fuck that. Of course I'm going to go to that. Like, of course, that's such an opportunity for me to do that. I mean, what else am I going to do? Why wouldn't I take advantage of these opportunities? They don't come around all the time. And y'all, we don't know when, you know, our ultimate transition comes, which is when we transition out of this body. We never know when that point is going to come. It's going to be like the ultimate mystery, the ultimate surprise. So take opportunities when they come. Yes, you're going to be afraid. 
yes, you're going to question like the ego is going to be like, do you belong there? Should you go to that? You shouldn't be going to that. Who are you to be in that room? Don't listen to that bullshit. You have got to trust. If you feel the call to do something, if it feels exciting, if it feels expansive, that tends to be the sign. That tends to be the sign. I know so many women, they're like, well, I'm afraid. I'm like, of course you are. Like you're alive. You know, that just means that you're, you're tuned in to how this is going to impact you, how this is going to help you grow into where you meant to go next. And I was saying this to somebody this week, like often you'll pray about something. You're like, I just, and then it comes. You got to recognize when it comes. You have to recognize when it comes. It's often not the way you think it's going to look or exactly how it's going to show up. But when it does, when you feel it, trust it and take that next step. The only way through transition is to get to the other side. All right. You got to breathe. You got to trust it. You got to have mantra. I'm just, I'll share this story and then I'll, I'll bring an end to this talk today. Um, but I've had three kids. And, um, two of my three, I had, you know, naturally no drugs. Um, number two, I w had a C-section. He was breech. And with my third baby, you know, I had some, I had some experience by that point. It wasn't my first time. And with that third baby, I knew that baby was going to come fast. And I also had a very distinct knowing that she was a girl, although we, we didn't find out the sex of any of our kids prior to birth. And, um, I was in the back seat of the car because my husband had to drive us to the hospital, which was very, um, it was over an hour away because I had a VBAC with my daughter um, because I had that C-section with number two, a VBAC stands for vaginal birth after cesarean. And I had a feeling I would labor quickly because I did with my first baby. There was a chance I would birth the baby in the car. So we had a doula following us in the car behind us as we journeyed to the, um, ho uh, the hospital. And I knew what those contractions felt like from baby number one. And while I was going through those contractions, and as you labor, when you get to the tail end of labor and then you move into delivery, the tail end of labor is called transition. That is when you become seven to 10 centimeters dilated. And if you have experienced that, you know what I'm talking about. It is when you feel like you're going to break in a gazillion pieces. And you don't, but you feel like you might. And you just, wow. I mean, it's, it's the ultimate of surrender and strength all at the same time. And as I was, you know, I was basically transitioning in the car because, again, I labor very quickly. And I could feel when those contractions were coming. They were like huge waves forming out in the ocean. That's what it felt like in my body. And I would feel it. I feel it coming on. That sensation was growing in my body. And this mantra just overtook me and it, and, and it said, um, and this is what I just kept saying to myself, pain is temporary. Family is forever. Pain is temporary. Family is forever. Pain is temporary. Family is forever. And that got me through that got me through transition that got me through some of the, you know, deepest sensations, the deepest pain, you know, of like the opening. And then I have this wonderful daughter who's now four and a half years old. She is, full of joy, full of life, um, full of funniness. She's so freaking funny. And I have these two sons. So if you're in the midst of transition, and you probably are, and we as a world are in the midst of transition because we're moving into this equinox right now, just know you're not alone. And I ask you, what are you willing to do to get to the other side? What opportunities are knocking on your door? What growth are you meant to experience in this new season? And how willing are you? That's what I got for you today. So thanks so much for watching. Again, say hi in the comments so I know who is here, who's tuning in. Just let me know how this lands for you. Let, you, let me know um, what you're going to do to honor the equinox and the coming of this new season. Again, I'm going to show this beautiful, beautiful work of art and um, would love to hook you up with our bonus fall equinox ritual when you sign up for my upcoming training we will send this to you and you can come into this season in a very very empowered mindful conscious way and you will 
do what needs to be done during this time. Experience what you're meant to experience and do it in a really, really grounded, empowered way. That's my, that's my hope for you. So I look forward to seeing many of you on that training coming up very soon. JennyFending.com slash program. Get all the details. Again, our special price is expiring in a few days. And I love you all. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the equinox. And let's welcome in a glorious new season. I'm so freaking pumped. I also want to give a shout out to all the women in my community who have Join the fast way to fat loss. Oh my God. Like there's just so many women who have signed up um, based on me sharing the love. So if that is you high five, oh my God, it's, it's just life changing. It becomes part of your every day. And if you haven't yet signed up for that, um, they have the dates for the next one up and I'll just include my link for that too. That's jennyfennig.com slash faster. It's really awesome. And it's so funny. I am an affiliate for that. So I do get, a commission when someone signs up, you know, that's how affiliate marketing works. And I just laugh. I'm like, I get paid for being healthy. <laughs> it's so fun. I actually got a commission check today. I was like, this is like the easiest thing I've ever shared for somebody else. Like, Oh my God. And I just, I just love that. I love that we get to make our own way. We get to share what we want to share in our own business. If we partner with other people to share their beautiful creations. Um, and the cool thing about the fast way, it's just, it's a program, you know, it's a program. Like this is what I'm teaching in my training is like how to create your program. Amanda Trass has created this extraordinary program. She serves so many people right now in this round of the program. She has more than 2,500 women in this round of the program. And then she'll, to do another one next month and she'll have that amount or more because she's got a phenomenal program. So what about you? Do you want to create your phenomenal program? Are you ready to serve more people? Do you want to have consistent income? This is your opportunity. No more waiting. No more excuses for why it's not your time or why you don't know enough yet. It's like, no, just begin. Just begin. And I can totally help you with that. Okay, everyone. Have a good one. I love you all. Happy Equinox. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.